So happy you could join us. We are joined, as always, by Greg Engert, beer director for the Neighborhood Restaurant Group. A James Beard Award nominee, the group includes Columbia Firehouse in Old Town, also Rustico in Alexandria and Boston. Greg, it is always good to see you. You too. What do we have on tap this week? Well, this is a beer that I, you know, we want to do, you know, I've, I've wanted to do for a long time, but we have to wait for it. Um, well, when, when we get to beer of the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. And rather than beer of the week, I know, we'll, seriously. How great would that be? But it's anyway. like this one, you know, is uh, it's from uh, Didola uh, Brewers. They're from Essen uh, in, in, uh, in Belgium. Um, uh, and they are one of the smallest breweries in Belgium. Uh, which is even more remarkable for the fact that we get what we even get from them over here. I mean, I think they only produce about 900 barrels of beer a year, which is a barrel is, you know, roughly two, roughly uh, just under two normal size kegs. Uh, to put it in perspective, Blue Jacket, um, which is a small and new brewery, of course, where we are right now, uh, we have the capacity to do 5,000 barrels a year. Um, so super small. We see some draft from them now, but it's mostly 11.2 ounce bottles. And while most of their beers are very rare, this one is even more so because it only comes out every two years. So um, the base beer is called Ore Beer. And this was actually the first beer the brewery ever produced and released and way back in 1980. Yes, we have. We did, yeah. This is Ore Beer, the original beer in Flemish. And this goes back to 1980. So the brewery itself was built in 1835. Um, and in 1980, it closed. So Chris Sertiler and his family purchased it to kind of just to keep it alive, um, and uh, but didn't do so to change it or to modernize it. They wanted to just do it as basically a hobby brewery. It's not the full-time gig, and uh, just brew on the side and making fantastic um, Belgian uh, strong ales primarily. So that's the Ore beer, a Belgian strong dark ale, six different malts for a complex mouthfeel, six hops. Uh, fermented with, both, with a, a blend of yeast, uh, Belgian ale yeast, which gives it the dark fruit and spice. And then now they also add lactobacillus. Um, but the thing about the beers is that once upon a time, when they first opened in 1980, they were buying their yeast from Rodenbach, which makes the, you know, their, their sour red ales. And that's back in the day when the, the regional brewers would sell yeast to the smaller brewers. But once Rodenbach was acquired um, by Palm Breweries, they stopped that in 2000. And so a lot of people even say that the beers are not quite what they used to be because they've had to recreate that blend of yeast, but um, they're still pretty amazing. And then this one is, you know, that lacto character, the funky tartness takes time to progress. So they take this beer, they put it in Bordeaux red wine barrels and leave it there for a year and a half. Wow. So this was brewed in 2012 and then just came out at uh, end of 2013, early 2014. And so not only does the barrel give you the wine quality, but the funky yeast uh, and lactobacillus uh, continues uh, as we go as well. So it is uh, quintessentially red wine beer, you know? I don't know why. It just seems like a unique color to me. Hard to describe. It is. It's like, it's enough. kind of, uh, it's, it's, it's dark, but it's not super brown. It has like certain burgundy qualities to it vapor that comes out just hits you in the nose. Yeah, I love it. Super like sour cherries. Also very Cabernet uh, Sauvignon-esque. Oh, that's nice, you know, and that's not as tart or funky as you might expect. But it definitely is there. The, yeah, yeah, from the, the nose. Yeah. yeah. You're right. Oh, it's definitely there. Yeah, and it's the sour, even no. more, but and but tannic. You get some dryness from the barrels themselves. And what's cool about the 18 months is that the beer on its own is richly malted, complex on the palate, dark fruit and spice notes. That lacto character will wake up as time goes on, giving you acidity. But then you've got the fresh Bordeaux red wine kind of soaking into the beer, and then the oak staves themselves giving you that tannic dryness. I mean, it is the perfect confluence of Bordeaux red wine and, and Belgian strong dark ale. It's, it's real nice even 30, 40 seconds after the sip is gone. I mean, it's 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 unbelievable. <laughs> what would you pair this with? Uh, this is, you know, this is classic red meat um, uh, beer, but also, you know, I, I just, uh, thinking about just like classic Belgian cuisine, um, you can do this with like the carbonade, classic Belgian stew, often made with sour red ales, um, rabbit preparations across the board, absolutely uh, fantastic, so. 
Greg, thank you as always. Thank you. Everyone, please always do drink responsibly and be sure to bring your thirst next time for another Beer of the Week.